I've been experimenting with Mistral AI for a few months now, and honestly, it's one of the most flexible and powerful platforms I've come across for working with open weight generative models. If you're into AI development, whether you're building full-scale enterprise apps or just tinkering with LLMs on your own, Mistral has a lot to offer. What stood out to me right away was how refreshingly open the platform is. I've mostly worked with closed models like GPT-4 and Claude, which are powerful, sure, but they lock you into specific ecosystems. Mistral does the opposite. Everything's open weight, which means you can download and fine tune models like Mistral 7B or Mistral 8x7B to fit your own use cases without relying on a proprietary API or being stuck in someone else's cloud. That alone is a big win for flexibility and control. I started with Mistral 7B and the performance genuinely impressed me. It's not just fast, it's efficient, even when I ran it locally. And then I tried Mistral 8x7B, which uses a mixture of experts architecture. That one's got serious reasoning capabilities across multiple languages and it handled my test tasks, summarization, code generation, multilingual queries better than I expected from an open model. Honestly, it's on par with many closed models in terms of quality. One of the features I really appreciated was the portability. I've deployed models via their serverless API, but also tested setups in both Azure AI and Amazon Bedrock. If you want full control, you can even run it on-premise. That's a rare level of freedom. For someone who switches between cloud environments or wants to avoid vendor lock-in, this kind of cloud agnostic flexibility is gold. The platform itself is developer friendly, but I'll be honest, it's not plug and play. Initial setup took some time and I had to dig into docs and community threads to get everything running the way I wanted. Once I got the hang of it though, integration became much smoother. They've done a good job making the APIs clean and predictable, and the documentation is growing fast thanks to an active and enthusiastic developer community. On the customization side, I've been able to fine-tune models on my own domain-specific data. That's where Mistral really shines. Unlike closed APIs where you're often limited to prompt engineering, here you can actually train the models, update weights, and shape the behavior of the AI based on your business needs. For one of my projects, I needed a model that understood technical documentation in a niche industry, and Mistral let me build that without too much overhead. Performance-wise, it's snappy. Response times are fast, and you don't need enterprise-grade GPUs to get reasonable results. Though if you're working with Mistral at scale, some decent hardware definitely helps. It's not going to run smoothly on a basic laptop, so that's something to keep in mind. I've used my local setup for testing, then moved heavier workloads to the cloud for scalability. I also love how the platform leans into transparency. You can audit everything, trace what the model is doing, and understand its behavior because the weights are open. That's a huge deal if you're building something mission critical or privacy sensitive. Plus, it just feels good to use something that isn't a black box. That said, I won't sugarcoat the downsides. There's a learning curve. If you're new to model deployment or managing infra, Mistral might feel overwhelming at first. And while it's great that the models are free to use, access to advanced tools or hosted APIs can get pricey, especially if you're a solo dev or small startup. The cost is fair for what you get, but it's definitely something to budget for. In summary, Mistral AI is a powerhouse platform for developers and teams who want control, flexibility, and performance without giving up transparency. It's open, customizable, and built for real-world deployment. Whether you're building on Azure, AWS, or your own servers, just be ready to invest some time up front, learning the tools, and possibly some money if you want to scale quickly. If you're tired of being boxed in by closed APIs and want to build something truly custom, I'd highly recommend giving Mistral a shot. It's not the easiest platform to master, but once you do, you'll wonder how you ever built AI applications without it.